So, uh, welcome to the Paranormal Shorts Tea Break. Cue the music. Welcome to the jungle. So, uh, it's been quite an eventful night. We've been to another woods in Fordham, the True Woods, which is near the Abbey, and uh, that was very, very, very good. Yeah. Lots of weird interaction. Um, Unexpected as well, interaction. Yes. I honestly like walking around that particular area, and you will see this shorts in about a month's time. Um, but I thought walking around there, we'd, you know, maybe have a couple of odd bits here, but we'd, that we'd be able to put down to animals walking about. But we had some quite big stuff happen, really. It was interesting. It was, it was all kind of linked into questions that were being asked. Yeah. We can't stop watching this, can we? Just in case. So it might walk past us on the camera. Never know. Go on, get attacked by another moth. Creatures love you. They do. I've, I've been right. bitten alive. I've got moths after me. Look, oh, there it is. <laughs> so after the tea, it's a good cup of tea. Oh, I'd had some pants the other day. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the stuff you get on paranormal shorts, tea break. Yeah. You know, that's the... I, I reckon a lot of it might be doing to do with sitting on this woodland floor. Yes. Uh, hello, there's a big flash there for some weird reason. What did it do that? New batteries in there. You want about that flickering? Yeah, I know it's flickering, but the whole screen went blank for about a second and then came back on. But maybe it's just the nature of the yeah. connect. There's a lot going on that it's got a process, so with all the tree branches, that's mm. a lot more than it's used to, isn't it? I just want something to walk in front of that tree so we can see it yeah. and I'll be chuffed. I wonder if that's why it's a bit more pixelated than normal because it's trying so hard to map all the individual branches. I actually said it, I think. It's got a, um, a it says there, I think it's sensor settings. And I did put it on the highest. Yeah. Um, so maybe I need to just turn it down a bit. But um, as far as I'm concerned... That seems to be working. It just looks like it's... Obviously trying to map everything and it's probably yeah. struggling a little bit. We just need someone to walk across, so if anyone's willing to do that for us. But anyway, let's uh, paranormal news. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you love that paranormal news, don't you? Uh, I've not seen any paranormal news, no. I actually um, caught an episode of The Unexplained. Oh, you did tell me about this, yes. Yeah, The Unexplained with uh, William Shatner Pants. William Shatner, um, who's... He, he, he <laughs> I don't want to be horrible. I'm a big fan of William Shatner. Obviously, I love the original Star Trek because I'm that old. Um, he's a big old boy now, isn't he? Uh, he looks like he's spent <laughs> some quality time in the water <laughs> as a corpse. He's bloated to hell. I mean, Jesus Christ! If, if he ever went on the back on the Enterprise, they'd have to. They, they Extra would. They, <laughs> they would. They would never be travelling along at warp six or whatever because it, oh. We could only achieve what four, Captain, because you're a big bloater, <laughs> is what Scotty would say. He's a big guy, and he's got no neck. His neck is devoid of neck. Um, so you've basically got this shirt that ends <laughs> where his chin, chin kind of begins. It's, I think it's, next week we're investigating what happens when the shirt comes off. Is there a neck in there somewhere? Or? <laughs> but I've got to say, I highly enjoyed his um, his show. And it would you say that was called The Unexplained? The Unexplained, unexplained uh, available at all good stockists. Uh, no, it's, um, uh, it's on Now TV, and I'm probably on God knows. It's, it's not sci it's history. it's History Channel, that's it, made for the History Channel. Um, and to be fair, it's, there's an ant on the screen. Fascinating. Yeah. That's what you said in a Spock voice. No, I didn't mean to. That's your shadow as well. That's true. Right up there. Ooh. Oh dear. <laughs> Ooh. Really shat in the pants. Yeah. Um, so it was good. It's a good show. It's worth a watch. Um, not so much paranormal news, more paranormal TV. Yeah, but, one of um, my favourites is still the. Is it Strange but True? Strange but True. Really? Yeah, with the Pete the Pulp Guys. Hmm. As a classic, I, I think I'll probably watch that maybe once every few months. Yeah, just to, I, I just love the way the story's told because let's face it, it's more of a after the event, yeah, style rather than during. So, yeah, which is what we're doing now. Um, 
and I've spent a bit of time because obviously everyone's on lockdown and you just have a bit more free time and I've been spending spend a bit of time looking at um, paranormal groups um, some interesting stuff out there shall we say mm. Luke's not going along with me on this journey no I'm not well I, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff out there yeah not going to say anymore <laughs> oh well there, yeah. there is I mean like there's just um, there's a lot of nonsense hmm there is a lot of do you want some more yeah I would top her up fill her up <laughs> yeah just a lot of crap there is I mean it doesn't have to be I'm not on about when you put your stuff online for it to be slick production and like but it's the actual content Ooh. of what's being put up is horrendous it's like a f five year old with a blanket over the red it's some of it's shameful Tom Foolery Tom Foolery yes Tom Foolery Foolery Tom yeah there's there's a lot of um, and chasing things lots of chasing chasing things chasing. lots of demons lots of evil which there isn't anywhere I'm still I'm still you know please drop a list of places where there are demons and I will go to every single one of them yeah well you've been to one last year yeah I have I yeah. have yeah and that, in fact that was one of the least haunted places I've ever been and I went in there with complete I had to pay to get in there so I went in with complete hope that something would happen it's a bit like when you pay for a ride at, at the seaside. Yeah, you want to be... You want to be, yeah. be thrilled. And yeah. you go on there and you find out it's travelling at three no, miles I didn't, an No, I didn't go in there. I went in there as I do any investigation. I treated it the same as I would anywhere. But oh. I was hoping I'd get something because it was a renowned place. But nothing. Shit. Yeah. It's a shame, really. That's, that's one of the reasons why I won't go to paid events. Yeah. I mean, well, again, I haven't no, passed, but I, I won't. I'll do them simply for the fact that... I won't go to events, so I'll get the place for myself, but... Oh yeah, which you have done for the your yeah. series. Yeah, Cajun other one, demons. Oh yeah, that's, that's two I've been to that are infested by demons, and both of them are some of the least haunted I've been to. Yeah, and we're still waiting. Yeah, yeah, another one I've been to is the uh, um, Harwich Redoubt Fort, which has got no, it's reputedly haunted, but there's no demons there. And I had stuff happen there, so maybe demons don't like me. Maybe I'm too. Nice I'm even wearing me, me, me skeleton hand tonight. When are your skeleton shoes coming out? Oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah. There, there'll be a photo. Jason will share a photo to the comment of this video. So have a look at these shoes. <laughs> They're skulls. It's just a skull. They're bloody it's, brilliant. It's just a skull. It's just a skull. It's not. It's not a whole skeleton. When am I uh, getting to see them live? I will, uh, do you know what? Next time. Next, next time. Out, next time we're out. I'm definitely gonna. I'm not sure where we are next time, but next time. Hold into um, that. Yeah, I will have them on, and it will be incredible. A humdinger of an event. It may even it, uh, um, actually. They're, they're apparently they're haunted, so they're, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, they're, they're demonic, demonic trainers, the demonic shoes, demonic high tops. That's like a '90s cartoon, Jason and the demonic shoes. Jason and the demonic shoes. James and the Giant Peach. Yeah. That's James. Or Williams Wish, wish Wellingtons. <laughs> or um, Sophie and her moustache. I don't remember that one. <laughs> you put it up the other day. For the shadow oh, of the course, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> With Buddha in the corner. With Buddha. Yeah, when did he, when did he come out? <laughs> oh, dear. I remember one of my mates, an orphan guy, uh, when I was at school, um, turned around to me and saying he really liked Buddha, and I didn't realise he meant butter um, <laughs> for quite a while. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a joke up there for all you Northern fans. With a bit of Buddha on his toast. <laughs> oh, God, it's, it's good to reminisce. And there's lots of, lots of time for me to, lots of years for me to reminisce, because I'm, I'm 150-12, so, um, yeah. Right, um... How old are you? I'm, I'm 48. Well, yeah, I never actually knew. 50 or soon. Big old piss-up. Well, yeah, yeah. It's paranormal piss-up. I, I might hire a demonic place and we'll go there. Hmm. 
It's weirdly though, I don't. I feel like I'm 25. It's strange. Mm. In my head. So do I. My body's um, more like 100, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's wear and tear, my body. It's uh, it's seen, worn and it's torn. Seen a lot of action over the years, uh, and it's it's still on, going on the eastern front. Still. <laughs> yes. Mm. At least said about that today. Mm. Right. What we can do then? I think maybe we just sit here for a bit and talk. We got lights out. Yes, we can't do really lights out. Not as lights out as it gets. That's what we do, semi famous. Kind of a favourite one. Okay. Um, <coughs> thing is, we've got the K2 on. Yeah, so. Oh. No. Still might pick it. I mean, that puts out a power thing, it might pick it up. Well, we'll find out if we leave it there. Good enough. Is there anybody here with us in this tonight?